Hey man, why such a long face? I don't know, man. It's just a combination of a couple things. Hmm, let me take a guess. Lack of penetration? A little bit of instability in your flow rate? Dude, how'd you know? We've all been there, buddy. Nothing to fret about. I think I got the perfect solution for you. Let me see if I... Oh, yeah. I think I got one right here. This this should do the trick, bro. Oh, what is this? That will solve all your problems. No, dude, I wasn't talking... Oh, you thought I was talking about... Yeah, uh... Can't help you with that one, buddy. All right, I'll see you later. What is going on, guys? I missed ya. It's been a while. Been pretty busy. You know, working on the holidays and all that kind of fun stuff. So, I got a solution. I was having a major issue with flux core on this machine. The, um, LE31MP by Lincoln Electric. So, the main issue when I was running flux core. So, you have your standard drive roll that so it basically has a smooth let me see if you can see that it's got a smooth groove it's a V groove in there so this one does 025 on one side and 035 on the other side I'm sure most you know people may know about these types of rollers but this is a different roller this this one does um, 035 and 045 it's the only one that Lincoln Electric makes that fits this machine because it has that certain keyhole right there but this is a knurled let me see if I can get it better okay so you see the how there's these grooves in this drive roll here what that does is when you compress down on that wire, it pushes it in there and they, they act as little fingers that will grab that wire and feed it consistently. Here's the, the one that it comes with. Here's the drive roll it comes with. It's smooth. And if you can't, if you can see that, there's all that gunk that gets in there. So what that causes it to push up and out of the the notch even further see how it's on my fingernail and what I was having to do is I was just having to constantly grab a piece of wire and push it in there and scrape all that gunk out of there and that's not even after I've been feeding a ton of, of wire through this but I haven't had one issue since I've purchased this there's no gunk in there it's clean and I've run a ton of wire through this and I haven't had one had one problem with feeding issues and what happens is when it's not feeding correctly you'll get a bunch of holes and porosity inside your weld puddle because it's not feeding consistently and it's just kind of like and then it'll like stop because it's you know and it'll slip because it's not there's even when you tension it down and then you start squashing your wire because it's got flux in it so this has helped me significantly with flux core welding I've even used it just to run standard, you know, mild steel wire um, on it, and it works fine as well. Uh, so, it's easy as that to make that work and function that much better with this machine. It just, it runs flawlessly. The only thing is, is obviously you're not going to be able to do um, smaller gauge you know wire with with that wheel because it only does 035 so I mean you could run 0, 030 and it'll still work in that same um, divot in there or the groove in your drive roll I don't do a lot of small you know really small gauge wire anyways if, if it mo majority of the stuff I'm gonna be doing if I'm I can use 030 and it works fine for what I'm doing so I I kind of just keep this in the bottom 
I kind of just store the original one. I just kind of pop it down in there and then I keep this one on the machine and obviously you're never gonna, you're never gonna run it where you're gonna be doing um, this side, which you're gonna have, you know, 045. So it'll just be stuck on this the whole time and it fits right in there just as the old one or the one that came with the machine would. Works flawlessly. I'm telling you, it's gonna help your welding flux core, even standard MIG. It's gonna change the way this thing, it's gonna just feed consistently and grab that wire very nicely and force it through that <laughs> your gun on a consistent rate all the time. I'll put a link to get the drive roll, but it is the KP3285-1. And that's the one that will work specifically with this, the LE31MP and the 40 mp The LE31 and the 140 mp are basically, they're identical machines. It's just, I think one's, there's very, minute comparisons to them um so go ahead pick that thing up i swear to god it'll help in every way so uh, if you like the content don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button later guys